Make delicious Hong Kong style chow mein easily at home. Dinner will be ready on the table before you can even get takeout. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, do this behind the camera and we're all about simple food, simple faith. Happy Chinese New Year of the Dragon. We are doing noodles today because noodles represent longevity and good health. Black pepper beef on crispy chow mein noodles is dude's go-to whenever we go to a Hong Kong style cafe. So that's what we're making today. The black pepper beef recipe can be found in my cookbook, Daily Special, but we're going to serve it on top of crispy chow mein today. However, I am having the beef recipe because we're serving it on chow mein. So I have half a pound of beef flank steak. I'm just gonna cut this down into smaller sections so that I can slice it along the grain. So that's what I wanna do is slice it thinly. Half a pound actually gets you quite a bit of meat. Look at this. Okay, just transferring this to a bowl so that we can marinate it. And marinate the beef with one teaspoon of soy sauce. Just regular soy or light soy. One teaspoon of rice wine. I'm using just the plain rice wine. You can use the Shaoxing wine if you have. And if not, you can also try using bourbon or sherry wine. If you don't want to use any alcohol at all, just omit it and add a little bit more of the soy sauce, like another teaspoon of soy sauce. And a teaspoon of cornstarch. Just give that a stir. The cornstarch helps to velvet the meat. Just makes a better mouthfeel. Okay, and then set this aside while we prepare the rest of the ingredients. I'm using these fresh chow mein noodles, but they need to be blanched before they're fried. So this is a two pound bag and somehow they just kind of exploded. I only needed a pound, so I took half of it out, but somehow there's still so much noodles in here. Um, yeah, so we have to blanch it for 30 seconds only. It doesn't take long and then we're going to fry it up. I'm turning on my frying pan and I'm gonna set it to a medium low and we're going to slowly crisp up the noodles. Sometimes I get really impatient. So I do have a video that I did for chicken crispy chow mein. And it was just a couple minutes because I think I had the frying pan on too high. So it crisped it up really quickly, but I think we're going to just do it low and slow today so that we get a nice even crust on the bottom. Okay, adding about a tablespoon of cooking oil, and I'm just using avocado oil today. You can use vegetable oil or canola oil, a neutral tasting oil. Even peanut oil if you have or like to use. Just add my noodles. We're gonna spread them evenly out. Well, this is a lot. Okay, I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit while we uh, cut up our pepper and onion. Just gonna bruise up a small piece of ginger. Oh, I used the wrong side. Okay, that's just going to flavor the oil for the stir fry and I'm gonna pick it out after. I'm using a small onion. I like to cut the onion from top to bottom. So it holds its shape better. I'm using a green pepper today because it was cheaper than a red pepper. If you watched my video from last week, the red pepper was like 250 for the pepper and the green pepper this week was only 94 cents. It's taking out the seeds and the pith. I'm gonna thinly slice it, kind of like the onion, so that the mouth feel is kind of even. I want the shapes of everything to kind of be the same or similar. And I have a clove of garlic. Mind you, it's a very big clove. 
You can use as little or as much as you like. And I'm just smashing it because I find that it's easier to chop up after I've smashed it. I just want to mince it. All right, this looks good. I'm also using a green onion for garnish. I'm gonna add the big <laughs> white piece with the um, regular onion to cook it together because I don't like the rawness of that part of the onion. And then the rest I'm just going to leave in two inch pieces. Okay, I'm going to flip it now. I think it's starting to burn a little bit on the other side. That's okay. We want the noodle to be crispy on, on either side, but the inside of the noodles continue to be a soft. I'm gonna add another tablespoon of oil just around the edges. Just moving the oil around a little bit. All right, I'm going to remove it now. It was only another minute or two. So I was checking the bottom to make sure that it wasn't too crispy. Okay, we'll just set this aside and get our beef going. Now we need to prepare our sauce. I have half a cup of beef broth. Adding two teaspoons of oyster sauce. Two teaspoons of regular soy sauce. Two teaspoons of rice wine. Teaspoon of brown sugar. Make sure everything's dissolved. And using the same frying pan and turn it up to medium high. And we're gonna get started with our beef. Adding a little bit of oil. There's a little bit of oil in there already, but let's add another tablespoon or so. And we're gonna add our beef. Let it sear for about a minute before moving it around. Okay. okay once it's about 80% cooked through, we're gonna remove it and get our veggies going. And I'm gonna turn off the heat. I can't work fast enough. Okay, heating the pan back up to medium, adding some more oil. We're gonna get our onions going. Oh, don't forget about that ginger. Get that ginger in there. Okay, adding the green peppers. saute the vegetables to the texture that you like. Don't let me dictate how long to cook them for. But I like my onions a little bit softer than my green peppers, so which is why I like to cook my onions first and get them softened up before adding the green pepper. Adding my garlic. And if you don't want to use garlic, you don't have to use garlic. You want to add more garlic. Add as much as you like. Well, that smells really good. Yeah, so you just want to fry up the garlic until you start to smell it. And I'm going to add my sauce now. I'm going to turn my heat down to low. 
And we're gonna scrape up as much as we can of the little brown bits from the beef in there. We also want to make a cornstarch slurry, so about a tablespoon of cornstarch, a tablespoon of water. And remember that the water has to be cool or room temperature water so that the cornstarch will dissolve. Okay, we're going to add our cornstarch. We don't have to add all of it. We just wanna make sure that the gravy thickens. I didn't have to add all of it. So, you know, and I think some of my sauce evaporated a little bit. I'm gonna add my beef back in with all the drippings as well. Okay, and don't forget the black pepper. So about half a teaspoon. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. Throw in your green onions. This pepper wants to escape. Remove this ginger. And turning off the heat. Oh, all those restaurant aromas happening oh right now. Oh my goodness. One last thing. About a teaspoon of sesame oil drizzled over top. Give it a stir. All right, this goes over top of all the noodles. The sauce will soak in. Okay, I wanna get all of it. Oh my goodness. It smells just like the restaurants. Are y'all ready for? Yup. Happy Chinese New Year, guys. Whoa, look at this massive plate of noodles. Oh man, you guys gotta try this at home because the value and the taste quotient is high. And uh, yeah, my favorite, when I see it on the menu, you gotta have it, the crispy chow mein crispy chow mein. And I don't know if it's just a Vancouver thing or whatever, but um, maybe it's, uh, do you guys have it available in your region, your part of the world? Oh, so much goodness here. And, oh, my chopstick skill is not great today. Let's get some of those noodles that's been uh, made contact with the sauce. That was good. Beef. Tender. The bite of the black pepper. The flavors. Oh yeah, this is good. I hope you guys try this because this is pretty amazing. Awesome. Good. Thanks, dude. Mm -hmm. We hope that you all have a very happy new year for this recipe, well, at least for the black pepper beef, you can check it out in my cookbook, Daily Special.